Okay, we're going to toss a coin, bear coin, four times. And we want to know what is the probability <coughs> to the nearest 1,000 of getting exactly three tails. Now, here this, the sample space is simple enough that we can actually list out all the possible outcomes. There's going to be 16 of them because for each coin, there are two possible results, heads or tails. So by the fundamental counting principle, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. There should be 16 possible outcomes. And here I've listed them all, 16 of them. And the probability of getting exactly three tails, I've circled the outcomes where there are exactly three tails. There's four of them. So 4 sixteenths or 1 fourth is the probability of getting exactly three tails. <clears throat> but there's a simpler way to do it, and that is to use the uh, binomial probability uh, formula, which looks something like this. If we have n trials, and we want x successes, that's this number right here, And the probability of success is this number right here. Uh, the probability of failure would be 1 minus that number. R of course, raised to the n minus x power because this is the number of failures. If we have x successes, then n minus x is the number of failures. And 1 minus p is the probability of a failure. <clears throat> so there's the formula. So here we are using it combination of four things taken three at a time, four trials, three successes, the probability of success is one half to the number of successes, three, and turns out the probability of failure is also one half, one minus a half. The number of failures will be four minus three. We get the same number, one fourth. Okay, so here's the same result using a Desmos online graphing calculator function, the binomial probability of n, n trials with x successes, and p is the probability of success. There is the same exact formula. If I submit these parameters to that formula, I get 0.25 or 1 fourth. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. Thank you.